Hey everybody, and welcome to day six. Uh, before we get into today's news, I want to acknowledge that we had a few hours of downtime yesterday. We know you depend on us, and we're really sorry for the interruption. Uh, we take this super seriously, and the teams are working on a detailed post-mortem that we're going to post later today. Uh, but the good news is, we're back, we're fully operational, and we've got a couple of exciting things for you right now. Uh, the first we're going to keep secret, and we'll show you in a little bit. The second is that we're excited to announce that we're uh, bringing video to advanced voice mode. So you can bring live video and uh, also live screen sharing into your conversations with ChatGPT. And the best way I know how to do this is to just show it to you. So uh, I'm going to go into, uh, into ChatGPT, and you'll see the normal advanced voice mode button on the bottom right of the composer. I click it. And uh, as it loads here, we'll give this one more try. There we go. All right. So you can see as we, as we go into, there's, there's now a couple more buttons on the bottom left. In particular, there's this video button. And so here we are. And I can, uh, I'm going to introduce myself. Hey, Chet. I'm Kevin. I lead product at OpenAI. Hi, Kevin. It's great to meet you. What can I help you with today? Well, I'd actually, I'd love to introduce you to a few of my colleagues. Does that sound good? Sure, I'd love to meet them. All right. Hey, Chad. I'm Michelle, and I'm an engineer on the ChatGPT multimodal team. Hi, Michelle. It's nice to meet you. An engineer on the ChatGPT multimodal team? That sounds exciting. It is. Thanks. Hi, Chad. I'm that... Jackie, and I'm the product lead for ChatGPT multimodal. Hi, Jackie. It's great to meet you, too. Sounds like you're all working on some really cool projects. We really are. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm Rowan. I'm a researcher here at OpenAI on multimodal. Hi, Rowan. It's nice to meet you. Multimodal research sounds fascinating. <laughs> all right. And now I want to see if you remember the folks that you met. So can I give you a quick quiz? Sure. I'm ready for a quiz. All right. What's, what was the name of my colleague that was wearing the reindeer antlers? That would be Michelle. All right. And how about the name of my colleague that was wearing the Santa hat? That would be Rowan. All right. Good work. You're two for two. You get an A. Thanks, chat. Thanks, Kevin. This was fun. Let me know if there's any. We are so excited to start the rollout of video and screen share in advanced voice today. We know this is a long time coming. So to recap, you can already talk with Advanced Voice and ChatGPT out loud, just like you would a coworker or a friend. Advanced Voice uses our natively multimodal 4.0 model. That means it takes in your audio directly, understands it, and outputs audio directly. As a result, conversations with Advanced Voice have a much more natural conversation pace with a depth of emotion and tone across more than 50 languages. Starting today and over the course of the next week, we'll be rolling out video and screen share in advanced voice so that you can share real-time visual context with ChatGBT to make your conversations even richer and more useful. And here's Rowan to show us more about what it can do. Yeah, so now you can chat with ChatGPT over video and voice together in real time. You can ask for help, troubleshoot, or use it to learn something new. So in fact, I'm going to try testing out right now. I'm going to have it uh, teach me how to make pour over coffee. So I'm going to grab a couple of materials here to grab this and that. And then I'm going to fire up a new conversation with ChatGPT and hit the advanced voice mode icon on the lower right. And then once it connects, I'll share my hey. video. Hey, chat, how's it going? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I see you're wearing a Santa hat. I am. And do you see what I have in front of me? Yes, I see a coffee set up with a kettle and a dripper. Are you planning to make some coffee? I'd love to. Do you think you could walk me through the steps? Sure, I'd love to. First, place a filter in the dripper and rinse it with hot water to eliminate any papery taste. This also warms up the dripper and the mug. Great, so then what do I do? Next, you'll add your ground coffee to the filter, usually about two tablespoons for every six ounces of water. Then you'll gently pour a small amount of hot water onto the grounds to let them bloom for about 30 seconds. Great, thanks. What's bloom? Blooming allows the coffee to release gas and enhances the flavor. 
After blooming, slowly pour the rest of the hot water in a circular motion. Keep the water level consistent and let it drip through the coffee grounds into your mug. Cool, that sounds great. I'll do the pouring now. Awesome. Take your time and pour slowly. This helps the water extract the coffee evenly for great. a better flavor. Anything I could be doing different or better about my technique? Your technique looks good. Just keep a steady, gentle pour and make sure the coffee grounds remain evenly saturated. You're doing great so far. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It looks like you're almost done. Once the Cool. So in addition to sharing your phone camera, you can also share what's on your screen. So to test that out, I'm going to start a new conversation, hit the advanced voice mode icon, and then go into this little drop-down menu and hit share screen. Once I right. start the broadcast, now ChatGPT will see what I'm showing it. And in fact, I'm, I'd like to use it to ask for help in responding to a message. So I'm opening up my Messages app, and then, hey, ChatGPT, are you seeing my screen? Yes, I can see it. Looks like you're in the Messages app. How can I help? Can you help me respond to this one? Or what are you seeing here, first off? I see a message from someone asking if they have what it takes to be a professional mall Santa. They also sent a picture of themselves dressed up. Do you want to respond to their question? I'd like some help in doing that. So how should I tell Kevin that, he, kindly, of course, that he shouldn't quit his day job? You could say something like, hey, Kevin, your Santa outfit is looking festive. Maybe keep practicing your ho, 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 and you'll be ready for the mall in no time. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, thanks, chat. You're welcome. I'm sure Kevin will appreciate the encouragement. <laughs> Anything else you'd like help with? That's perfect. Well, I think Kevin makes a great Santa. But you don't need Kevin to talk to Santa this year. Starting today and for the rest of December, you can talk to Santa directly in ChatGPT. You can ask Santa anything, whether you have questions about his life at the North Pole, curious about what the elves are up to, or looking for a fun Christmas story as a parent with curious kids. Santa will respond in real time using his signature jolly voice. And finding Santa, it's super easy. On the home screen, just look out for a snowflake icon. That's going to be your festive entry point. You can also find and select Santa in the ChatGPT settings page. All right, let's say hi to Santa. Hey, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Well, hello there. It's delightful to hear from you. Are you getting excited for the holidays? I'm so excited. You... Santa, I have a question for you. What's your favorite Christmas tradition? <laughs> what a wonderful question. <laughs> My favorite Christmas tradition has to be the magical moment when children hang their stockings by the fireplace. It's such a warm and cozy tradition, filled with the anticipation of goodies and surprises. What's your favorite holiday tradition? That's a good one, Santa. And who's your favorite reindeer? Ho, ho! Well, that's a tricky question. All of my reindeer are special in their own way. Rudolph, with his bright red nose, does hold a special place in my heart because of his guiding light. But Dasher, Dancer, Prancer and all the others are just as important. They each bring their own magic to the sleigh team. Do you have a favorite reindeer? Uh, Santa, I have a question for you. How do I keep my beard in tip-top shape? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Maintaining a magnificent beard takes a bit of magic and care. First, it's important to keep it clean and well-groomed. A bit of well, Hold on, Santa. Oil. We need some real feedback here. Now what do you think? Ho, ho, ho! That's a fabulous beard. It's full and fluffy, just like mine. <laughs> if you give it a little comb and maybe a sprinkle of holiday cheer, it will be in tip-top shape for Christmas. Ho, ho! Santa, would you say that this is a great beard or that it's the greatest beard? 
Ho, 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 ho! That, my friend, is a magnificent beard indeed. It's truly one of the greatest beards I've seen, full of holiday spirit and cheer. Ho, ho! Thank Thanks, you. Santa. Ho, ho, yes! What is it, my friend? <laughs> All right, let's recap how you can access these features. Video and screen share is rolling out in our latest mobile apps starting today and over the course of the next week. We'll be rolling out to all Teams users and most Plus and Pro, Pro, Plus and Pro subscribers. For Plus and Pro subscribers in Europe, we will get this feature to you as soon as we can. If you're on an enterprise or EDU plan, you'll get access early next year. Santa is rolling out over the course of today, globally, everywhere you can use ChatGPT voice mode. That means you can talk to Santa on our latest mobile apps, our desktop apps, and on desktop web at ChatGPT.com. And the first time you talk with Santa, we will reset your advanced voice usage limits one time so that even if you've used up your limit for the day or for the month, you can talk with Santa in advanced voice right away. Even after your limits, you can also keep chatting with Santa in standard voice. We hope you enjoy your conversations with Santa as much as we have. All right, and just to wrap up, let's get Santa's perspective on one more thing. Santa, what's your favorite Christmas joke? Oh, oh, all right. What's every elf's favorite music? Rap music. Oh, 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 a little elf humor for you. All right. Thanks, Santa. And I just wanted to say thanks to the engineers, researchers, PMs, designers, the entire team that's been working on this for months to bring it to you. We're super excited to see what you do with it. Thanks so much, and see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.